Hello, and welcome back to another exciting Art with Mr. Johnson. Well, my friends, today we are going to draw ourselves a cute little fish in a fishbowl. Ooh, it's so easy, so fun, but it looks great. You can do it. You're going to have so much fun. As always, what are you going to need? A piece of paper to draw on, a work mat so you don't get your table dirty, or just another piece of paper to put underneath it so you don't get it dirty, some crayons, and a Sharpie. Get yourself together. I'll see you in just a second. All right, welcome back. Hope you have your Sharpie. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with an oval for the top of our fish bowl. So here's about half, a little bit higher. We're gonna make an oval. Remember, <laughs> if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. We're just having fun. That is not perfect. That looks like a potato that somebody stepped on. Oh, boo hoo. All right, now I'm gonna make another oval inside of that for like the edge of the fishbowl. See if I can make that one a little bit better. All right, that looks better. Now I'm gonna make a big giant U for the bottom of the fishbowl, like a big smiley face. So start about halfway, come down. Bring it around, kind of flat on the bottom there, so it rests on the table. There we go. There's our fish bowl. Maybe that one looked a little bit better because it's round. That's okay. My practice and the one that I make, they're always different. All right, so then we're going to make a table. So just draw a line, a little lower than halfway, straight. Imagine where it would go through and come out on the other side and take that to the edge. All right, now we're gonna draw our fish. So easy. And the top of our fish is just gonna be like a rainbow. So. The bottom of our fish is just gonna connect and it's gonna be like a smile. Then for the tail, Curve up, curve back. Same thing on the, the bottom part, curve out, curve back. Let's make a nice eye, big smile. Don't put these fins on the top, so it's the same as a tail, but go back a little bit more. Same thing on the bottom. All right, remember, if yours doesn't look like mine, that's fine, because it looks like yours. That's what we want to see. All right, what else do we need? We need a little wave across the top of our fishbowl. And that's it, we did it. Oh, let's draw these lines on our table. And I like to put them, I'm gonna make these next ones even go back at a little bit more of an angle just to see how it looks. You can make yours straight up and down if you want, or you can try it at an angle like I'm gonna do. This is a little trickier. Try to keep them the same distance apart. Same thing, if you don't go, if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. Make a little one up there, and a little one down there. Kind of looks like a tablecloth or something. All right, we are done with the drawing part. Now it's time to color. For your goldfish, in your color box, you probably have a dark orange, a light orange. Use whatever one you want. I'm going to use the light orange for mine. Don't worry, you can color over the eye and the mouth. Try to be careful with your coloring. If you go out of the lines, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just do the best you can. We're going to color everything, so it will be fine if you go out a little bit. All right. Remember, if I go too fast on my coloring for you, you can pause the video. I like to color around the outside first. Then I just color, shade that in. Get that part I missed. And let's get the fins. The tail, oops, I missed a little spot. My tail. Let's 
these are actually tail fins. It's not a tail, not like a dog tail or a cat tail or a pig tail. These actually help the fish swim. All right, there we go. Our fishy is done. Now, for the water of your fish tank. Oh, I know what I forgot to do also. In your box, you have light blue and dark blue. I like to use the light blue because it looks like you can see through it. If you want to make it dark blue, that's fine too. And I just remembered, I forgot to do the little sand on the bottom. So get your Sharpie back and make like a little wavy line on the bottom. We'll color that in brown later. Actually, you know, let's color that in first, now that I think about it. So take your brown and let's color that in. It's funny that they put the sand in the bottom of fish tanks. The fish don't sit on the bottom. They swim around the whole time, so I don't even think they care that that's down there. We just put that in there because it looks cool. Fish don't care about it. All right, now let's get your blue and color. We're gonna color everything, the top, the bottom. So here we go, a lot of blue work. And then just color that all in. La, la, la. This is going to take a while. So, if you want right now, you get how to color. You can stop the video and just go, go for it and color. If you want to hang out with me and color with me, great. Or you can just stop and do it on your own. And you don't have to do this all at one time either. You can color a little bit, take a break, color a little bit more, take another break, go have a snack. Pet your animal, play with your little brother or sister if you have one, or big brother or sister, or toys, whatever. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the edges. Like I said, if you go out of lines a little bit, don't worry about it. Just do the best you can. I do this all the time, and I still go out of line sometimes. And do I cry about it? No, I do not, because I'm just trying to have fun. And that's what I want you to do is have fun, not worrying about your... If I see, like, I'm gonna go out of lines on purpose just to show you. Oops, you can see a little bit, but it's not a big deal. So, I mean, don't do it on purpose, but if you go out of lines, that's fine. And the more you color, the better you get at it. Just like anything else, just like reading or math, the more you practice, the better you get, the easier it is. Think about when you were learning your letters, your ABCs. The first time you tried it, you didn't know what you're doing. Now, it's probably a lot easier. All right. Let's get our little some water in there. Our fish definitely needs water. That's very important for a fish. They can't live without water. All right. Whew. I'm getting tired. You must be getting tired too. You have little hands. I have big hands. And I'm getting tired. <laughs> I can't stop the video though, because I have to make it. You can stop and take a break. Also, I'm standing up. When I make my practice, I'm sitting at my desk and it's easier. It's hard to do this when you're standing up but I do it for you because you're my friends and I want my friends to have something fun to do. All right. You know, it'd be easier if I could just pour water in here. That would be a lot faster than drawing the water. <laughs> and paint, paint is a lot, paint goes a lot faster too. If you guys were at school, we might be doing this with paints instead of crayons, but I know you probably don't have paint at home, 
So I'm doing it with the crayons. If you do have watercolors, you could do this whole project with watercolors and it would look really cool. All right, for the wall and the table, you can do those any color you want. On my practice, I did a green wall and a purple table, but just for fun, I'm gonna change it around and I'm gonna make my table red. Let's see, oh wait. Maybe I'll make the table green and I'll make the wall red. Let's try that. And so this one, same thing. Just do your edges first. I'm going a little fast. Don't feel like you have to go this fast for your edges. Take your time and be careful. And then the top of the table, we'll make that red. Let's get the little spot I missed. And now everything else is red, so. And this is why we use the work mat. So see, I'm gonna color off the thing, off the paper. And if it was on the table, that would get my table dirty. So that's why we use a work mat underneath. Okay, here we go. Time to do a lot of red work. You can go this way, you can go this way, you can go diagonal, however you want. You can mix it up. I think it looks better a lot of the time if you go all the same direction on when you're coloring a big space. Sometimes you can go other, and then it, it blends in. So you don't have to worry about it too much. So why do it in a different direction? Just have fun. Do the best you can. Come over on this side. My arms don't reach that way. Oh, maybe I will come back over here. <laughs> you always learn something new. Every day you learn something new. You think you know something and you do it and you find out, hey, I can do it a different way. That's the cool thing about doing stuff. The more you do, the more you learn. And then you learn stuff, so then the next time you do it, hey, I learned that last time. Ah! Squish your paper. <laughs> Hold it down. If you're working at home, you can use your hand to hold your paper down so you don't crumple it like I did. All right, we've got a red Whoa, that one I made a purple. I do like that purple. Hmm. No, you know what, I think I'm gonna try that green, just for fun. I like red and green. Let's see how this works. Like I said, you can do any color one. If you wanted to be fancy, you could do each stripe of your table a different color. That would take a long time for me to show you, but you can do it at home. You're the boss, so. And if your green gets on the blue, that's not even a big deal because they're almost the same and you won't be able to tell that much. Here we go. And then we're just gonna color this in. I'm gonna go fast. You go as fast or as slow as you want. Don't feel like you have to go the same speed as me. All right. If you've done my other pictures, you know, I like to color in the whole picture. I don't like to leave it white unless it's supposed to be something that's white. I think the pictures look much better all colored in. Almost done. Oh, whoopsies. <laughs> All right. And then you can always go back and like, oh, I missed a spot. You can go back and check the parts that you missed when you're done. Fix it up. 
All right, well there, my friends, we did it. A super cool, easy, fun goldfish in a tank. Different colors, play with it, experiment, have fun. That's what it's all about. Hope you had fun. I did. See you next time.